Hello, and welcome to a new video for the point 18 release of routine on desktop and web. And so a lot of things uh, are actually moving, even though many things are not really palpable. That's why we took so long to do a release, and we are very sorry about that. But things are going to get better, uh, we promise. So let's jump right into it to show you what is new with the point 18 uh, version. So the first thing that we've done um, that has been available for some time is that you can indent your block. For instance, bullet points, uh, a number list, etc. So you could say something like, I don't know, uh, topics and you could have like, uh, I don't know, discuss um, billing issue. And obviously you could indent a bit more something else or uh, even more, et cetera, et cetera, uh, to have obviously an hierarchy of bullet points, which makes sense, right? So that's something that we have done. <clears throat> Another thing that we have done is the ability to reference other objects, other items in your system. So let's say something like uh, call um, maybe Nicholas. And that's it. You have a reference which you can click to navigate to, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You get the point. But more later about references because we use references differently than in other systems that you probably used in the past. Now, another thing that we've done that has been requested for a long, long time uh, is an easier way to select blocks because so far you could do something like this, etc. cetera. Uh, could do shift up and down to select more, but obviously not everybody knows that and not obviously uh, uh, super uh, uh, handy and easy. Now you can draw an area to select multiple blocks, which is something that a lot of people expected. Uh, so we've done that. The final thing that we've done is very, very different. And I think uh, says a lot about the direction that we are taking. And this is what we call views. Uh, for now, the views, which is a way to visualize data, only apply on what we call the default types. So the default types are the default types of data, which are the task, the pages, the people and the events and calendars. Those are the ones that are already present in the system when you sign up for routine. And so we allow you to visualize data on those types, on those items, objects, as we call them, uh, 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 easily. But later on, we will allow you to even define, create your own custom types. So in the future, it will look something like this, where you have multiple types you can create types we are not making those available yet you can see that you have default types those are the ones that we allow you to manipulate today and so what does it look like basically uh, very simple you can create a view in the nodes to visualize the data in a different way so it could be something like um, let's say something like so you create a view with the slash view and then you could pick a type and so that you you see you have like some types like tickets and projects which are not available to you yet but the point is that you also have the default type so you could say actually i want to see my tasks and that's it i've got the list of all of my tasks which can be a lot. So it could be a bit slow. We are optimizing as we speak, but you could actually change the layout if you wanted to, or you could even group. You could say, I want to group by the status. This way I can see all the tasks abandoned, uh, 2000 almost done and the to do's. And you can obviously uh, open one if you want, etc., etc. You've got the date, the, the parent, etc., etc., as you have in anywhere in the system. And so that's the first thing. And again, great for project management because you can have a board view with your different things. Uh, so a great way to visualize data differently. That's one thing. <clears throat> but again, 
we go beyond what most systems do because we have a systematic approach for manipulating data in the system. Let me explain what I mean. I'm going to take an example with meeting notes. Let's say I want to see my uh, notes from the current week. So all the notes I took in an event or meeting, so actually you see you can change the type, etc. but you can actually edit the query directly. So the query, we have a, a specific querying language, which is going to look complicated at first, but it's not very complicated. Think of this as a formula in Excel or in Coda or in Notion, if you've used those tools before. Um, and obviously as we go, and, 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 and basically improve the system, we will introduce AI, we will introduce a UI to basically do the same thing without the query system. But again, it's not very complicated. It would be something like, I want to see all of the events where uh, the length of the nodes dot blocks uh, is more than zero, which basically means all the events with some nodes. You could also say also where there are some participants the length of participants is also more than, uh, let's say, more than one, so that you have at least two people. But also you could say, uh, and uh, maybe <clears throat> the week of time dot start. So this means that you take the time of the event, the start of the, of the event, and you retrieve the week of that uh, time. And so you want this week to be exactly the same week as the week of today. Now, if I do something like this and I save, it will show me all the events where there were more than two people, I mean, at least two people. Uh, I took some notes uh, and they took time, they took place this week, which looks good 30th and 28th, 30th and 28th. Now, interestingly, I've got this arrow here where I can actually uh, expand the notes directly. I don't have to necessarily open the meeting to have access to the notes. And you can see uh, I've got access to the content very easily. I can also obviously go to the event and come back. It's the same thing. So very good for overviewing all of your notes from meeting, for instance. But let's take another example with classes. You could do the same and have a, a query that says something like, I want to see all the events where the title is chemistry 101 and the notes, so notes.blocks is more than zero, which is again, you have taken some notes. That allows you as a student to take notes in the event. So again, you don't have to create a page. You just take the note in the event itself. And then you can go somewhere else in routine and say, I want to view all of the content which is basically um, uh, kind of uh, scattered in the system and I want to overview it as a view. And this way you have all of your notes that you took and you can access them very, very easily. To maybe give a final example, <coughs> I'm going to go a bit deeper in uh, what I just mentioned, which is something we've introduced, which are the references. Some people, in particular in the PKM space, really enjoy using references as a way to filter and basically group information together. And so, again, it's just to show, because all of that is kind of in beta, we're going to improve it. But if you want, you could also use references. You could do something like, okay, I want to see so I'm going to use events as well, but you could use tasks or you could use people or you could use pages. All of those do work. It's the same thing. But I'm going to use events again, where length of notes dot references, uh, where the target is title uh, no, equal to fix Salesforce connector or no. What I'm going to do target title is Nicholas. Maybe this is going to work actually. Uh, yes, that should work. And this is different from zero. Let me try with, because maybe it's not, oh, maybe it must be, maybe name or full name, I don't know. Yeah, name works. And so if you remember uh, at the very beginning of this, uh, of this uh, video, I added a reference in an event, which was the one from today, 
as you can see here. And so here I'm saying, I want to see all the events where in the notes, anywhere in the notes, there is a reference to an object in particular, which would be Nicholas. And so that's great for really basically using this as a backlink, uh, basically saying, I want to see all the things pointing to me, which is exactly as backlink. So for now, you've got to specify that those are events that you're looking for. But later, we will allow you to actually uh, query any type of object. That's it to start. Uh, so again, this is a big piece. It doesn't look necessarily like it because most products do views like board, list, etc. But underneath what we are doing is something more uh, uh, kind of more fundamental in the sense that we are making the whole system queryable so you can really uh, retrieve the data from anywhere in your system. The whole system is a, 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 a data bank that you can ask uh, for information. So later we will obviously improve this so that it's faster, uh, uh, the UI is better as well, but also we will make, uh, we've already started optimizing the performance so that it's really uh, fast. So again, sorry if for now it's a bit slow, it will get better. And for the whole app, actually, the whole experience is going to be faster. So that's one of the things we are working on and many other things that we are improving. Uh, and after that, what will happen is this, which is the ability to create your own types, but more about that later. Thank you.